Hello, and welcome to another segment of Open Dialogue. Ladies, a lot of exciting things are happening in the news. Wednesday of this week, um, Meg Whitman, former CEO of eBay, announced that she was going to be a candidate in the upcoming California governor race. So I thought one of the things that's important to us is that we educate our viewers on what that means. And let's talk about those people who have put their names out there now, Meg Whitman, um, the insurance commissioner, Steve Posner, and the mayor, San Francisco, Mayor Newsom. Um, I want to open up the floor before I get into it, because I will really get into it, but I just kind of want to, let's talk about Meg Whitman. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm excited at the fact, I think that she'll do a good job, because the state of California right now, because of our economy, we need to run it more like a business. Mm -hmm. She'll come in, she'll run it like a business, it'll help us get our economy back. She's got great credentials for business. She went to Princeton, she went to Harvard, she's got, you know, plus she went to public schools, so she's got that um, real understanding of, of all areas of education. So I think. Now, people would say that we would take that position because we're women, but of the three that are out there right now, because some other people, sure. you know, there's word that people have not declared, but of those names, um, let's talk about ins Insurance Commissioner Posner or Mayor Newsom. Um, what are, what are your thoughts about well, those are two? I think candidates. you we can look at San Francisco and San Francisco's not doing too well. They made it a sanctuary city. People have gotten killed because of that. I, San Francisco's economy's in the tank and he has not done anything for San Francisco. But he has a strong endorsement by former President Bill Clinton. How do you think that's going to fare for him? No. Well, you know, <laughs> Natasha, you say no. <laughs> like, that's just <laughs> it. Well, Christina, yeah. Christina, Christina had some thoughts. Hillary Clinton, when yeah. Bill Clinton endorsed Hillary, she didn't Absolutely. win. So that won't I necessarily know. work exactly. for uh, anybody else. Exactly. That could <laughs> be like the, the, the open. <laughs> oh, so actually having it, okay, so your position may be having an endorsement from former President Clinton couldn't be, could work against you as opposed to for you. I'm he, just saying. He never really <laughs> wanted to endorse Barack. And look who's president. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a pattern Let's here? Let's talk about insurance <laughs> commissioner Steve Posner. What are your thoughts about him? Conservative? Strong? Well, I, I think he's a viable candidate. He does have um, some business experience. He's got some tech businesses that he's run. And so I'm not real clear on his some of his other positions with education. But, um, but I think that uh, he does have some business background, definitely. So let me pose this question to you. Of the three candidates, considering the state that California is in. Do you believe that either of them are really the right person for the job? Because clearly the next person that sits in that office, they really are going to have to take us to a place that we've never been before, at least start guiding us that way. Sure, sure. I think we really need a new person in a position of power like that because for so many years we have all these people that just jump around from, oh, now be senator, now governor, now right. mayor, and it's like we need a new person because the same people just keep messing everything up. Exactly. That's even the thing, you know, I think with Posner. The thing I like about Meg is she's coming in, she's coming in fresh. Posner's still been in the government, he's still got the old That's cronies a good point. and everything. That's a really good point. He's, he's been established as, as a politician already. So that fresh perspective, Absolutely. kind of the, the concept that came behind President Obama, that right. you had somebody who, even though he was a senator, had been involved in government, he was bringing a new ideology right. to right. Washington. Right. Uh, my thoughts on, on the race is I am supporting at this point for the candidates that are in um, Meg Whitman because I'm very impressed on her background. I was impressed on what she did with eBay. eBay Absolutely. was just this small right. Silicon Valley company no one knew about. 30 employees, and she took it to 15,000 right. employees, you know, a billion dollars strong. Right. And, and that speaks to her leadership. Right. And if she can take something small like that, I think she would do a great job here in California. She's going to have a lot to con uh, contend with. We have a lot of issues, right. but I think that she has the wherewithal right. uh, to make it happen. Meg, we support you. <laughs> <laughs> and she's already jumped out there with the Absolutely. agenda. I mean, it's, it's there, education. and she, she knows, and she's got a plan. Absolutely. So. Well. We don't know who else is going to declare, but um, Meg Whitman, we want you to know that um, we'd like for you to come on to our show and talk to us Absolutely. at Every Way Woman. And Open Dialogue is now closed.